What's going on everyone, it's Marco Hanna, and the last video I posted was the MacBook Pro 13 inch with force touch trackpad unboxing first impressions. And I asked you guys in that video if you guys wanted to see some kind of video on the force touch trackpad. And a lot of you guys said, yes, you do want that video. So this is sort of a force touch trackpad explained how it works, what it is, and how it differs from the last generation clickable trackpad. So there's a huge key difference with the new trackpad and that's the removal of the button beneath the trackpad on the last generation multi-touch trackpad. So basically how that one worked was it was basically a big glass surface and underneath it was a little tiny button very similar to a mouse and when you push on the trackpad it would click on the button and register a click or some kind of action. So now it's replaced the four pressure sensors on all four corners of the trackpad and how that works it basically measures the sensitivity or the pressure that you put on the trackpad and it registers some kind of click. So now you're probably wondering is how do I know I click something? Well in the middle of the actual track pad is a haptic engine. Now this thing basically replaces the clickable button because well it sends little pulses of vibrations. Now it actually doesn't feel like a vibration at all because it sends it in a very small pulse. So if you're using the MacBook by itself and you really didn't have any experience with the old generation MacBooks you could be fooled by saying well yes I feel something being pressed and that's really how it feels when you're using the haptic trackpad. Now say you line up the old MacBook Pro and the new MacBook Pro and you try pressing both of them, you can tell a big difference. One, you can actually tell the resistance on the upper portion of the trackpad on the old MacBook, while the new MacBook has even resistance on all sides. You can actually program that in the software depending on what you want to register as a force touch or a force click. Another difference between the trackpads is when you have the MacBook turned off. On the old MacBook, you can still press the trackpad, it wouldn't do anything because because your MacBook is off, but on the new MacBook, it doesn't do anything. It's just a glass surface. It doesn't click, it doesn't move, it doesn't have any feedback. And that is probably the biggest way to tell whether you have a Force Touch trackpad on your MacBook or not. Now, just over the past couple of days, I've been using the Force Touch trackpad a lot compared to my 15 inch MacBook Pro. And honestly, I kind of dig it more than the old trackpad. One, it's very easy to use. I have even pressure on the top side of the trackpad, which I really did not like on the old generation MacBooks and it just feels really natural and very accustomed to the old MacBook. It feels very similar, has a very similar experience. Now, the only thing I would be worried about is that haptic engine burning out at some point, but honestly, thinking about it, it really probably won't. Uh, and if it happens within the first year, you're covered under the warranty, I'm guessing, with the Apple Care warranty. So honestly, it's really cool, it's really interesting, and I'm sure that more and more notebooks will be having it. So the 13-inch MacBook Pro has it now, the new MacBook will have it, and I'm guessing the MacBook Air and the 15 inch MacBook Pro will have it sometime along the line later this year or maybe even into next year. And other than that, the functionality between these two trackpads are very similar. Again, the only big difference is you can program what the force click would do. On some cases, you can actually make it do definitions. You can also bring up addresses and open up maps with an address that's posted, say, in a text or an email. And I'm pretty sure more third party application developers will take advantage of Forge Touch equipped Macs and and give them different functions so it could be a whole new way to interact with your laptop and Mac. So make sure to leave me some comments below in this video and also make sure to subscribe and as always my name is Marco Hanna and I'll catch you guys in the next one.